Hello everyone, Jif Slater here, and today I'm going to walk you through some tips and tricks to make you a master of GNU Screen. Now, if you haven't heard of GNU Screen before, it's a terminal multiplexer that lets you manage multiple windows in a single terminal window. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open screen if you haven't already. And you'll end up getting a window that looks something like this. So we're going to cover four things today. We're going to cover basic config file, regions, groups, and layouts. Okay, very simple things, but these small extra parts can maximize your productivity, especially when you connect into a remote server. So if you open up screen, you'll see a window that looks like this. If yours looks a little different, don't worry, it's fine. And we'll open up my screen configuration file, which is located at .screenrc. So if you look at it here, the most important parts is the status bar. So this is available on GitHub. Go ahead and download that now and put it in .screenrc so you can follow along with the tutorial. We'll exit out of here. So one of the things that happens in screen is you can end up creating multiple windows. And I'll go ahead and put the commands at the side here. So to create a new window, you use the meta key, which uh, opens up a key to talk to screen. And then you can use the C command to open up a window. So control A, C, control A, C, control A, C. There, there you go, I've made three extra windows. To exit out, I can use exit, just like a normal terminal window. So you can treat each of these windows inside of screen as a basically a new terminal instance. It's virtually not different at all. But since it's all contained within one terminal window, you can actually detach from it with control A, D and reattach to it with screen dash capital R. And so while on your local machine, this might be handy if you need to go to console mode or something, it's much more handy on a remote machine because you can keep your layouts and your configuration set up and just connect, reconnect at any time. So often when you have multiple windows, it's a bit of a pain to move around. You have to look at the status bar and say, oh, I want to move to window number one. So you use control A one to move there. That can get tiresome after a while. So one key trick that I like to add is to use the control arrow keys to get around. So let's go ahead and add the control left to go back, to go down in the windows and control right to go forward in the windows. It looks something like this. You can use the cat command to echo the key bind in your hitting and go ahead and hit control left and control right. And you'll see these key bindings here. Let's go ahead and copy that. Control C to get out, and we'll add those to our screen RC file. So we'll make some new key bindings here, and we'll use, call it Control Arrow Navigation. Use the bind key command. We'll paste in the item we just copied, and since that's the left Control Left uh, key, uh, shortcut, we can use pre Prev to go backwards. Likewise, if we want to go forwards, we can use C, which was the right arrow key. Next, save that, exit out of your screen. So there's a little trick here. You can use the at command to send commands to every window and then open up a new screen, open up a few windows and you'll see that using control left and control right lets you quickly get around in your screen session. Now imagine you had a nested screen session within a different uh, terminal. So let's connect to another machine. Perfect. Now I'm logged into a different machine and we'll open up screen there. Okay. So now I have screen within a screen and I want to move within the windows here. So remember that you send the meta command to get around. The meta command lets you, uh, lets you talk directly to screen. If you want to talk to a nested screen session, you have to send the meta command to that window. So to do that, you use the control A, A command, which I've listed on the right side. So control A, A, C will open a new window inside of the session that you're connected to. But to move around there, control left and control right don't work because you've only configured that for the screen session on your local machine. So what we can do is we can add a key binding to send that meta command with the navigation command to the nested session. So in your local window, open up your screen RC and then let's have a look at the up and down commands. So control up and control down look like this. We'll copy that. And just like before, we'll make two new entries. 
and use the bind key command. We'll paste it in there just like we did last time. This was up, and we'll use stuff, which means send the proceed in key bindings directly to the window. Stuff, control A, which you might remember as the meta command, and N for next. So the up arrow control up goes to the next window. Copy that. We'll change this to B. As you can see, it's A, B, C, D, up, down, left, right, or up, down, right, left. And then we can use the stuff command with previous, which will send it to the previous window. Okay, so we quit here, exit out of here, close this, exit out of that. So we're going to detach from this session, this nested session. Okay, so that the nested session number is 982, 9842, and then we'll disconnect and close all the screen windows. Make a new screen window, SSH back in. We'll restore to 9842. Okay, now using control up and down, moves up and down inside the nested window. Super handy when you're connecting. Now let's say you had a special region setup. So you had split these windows like so, and they look like this. Okay, I use the control S command with the send meta command first, okay, because I'm sending it to the nested server or the nested server screen session. Usually when you disconnect from this or you detach from this, this region is lost. So control A, A, D, if I retach, it's lost. So screen has added layouts, which makes this a bit easier. So what you can do is you can create a new layout like so, control A, A, call it layout, new, okay. And it will open up a blank window, which is the dash asterisk you see on the left side. So if we wanna create some layouts, we do the same thing we did last time. And there, we've got a layout, we'll go ahead and save that. Give it a name, we'll call it nested. And then we'll put the windows in there, just like we do before. There you go. So now let's detach and reattach. And you'll see that the layout has been saved and the region setup is fixed. So this is super handy when you're connecting back and you've got everything arranged in a nice grid and you don't want to have to configure it again, right? You need to get maximize that productivity and get straight back into it. So let's detach from this. And create another connection to a different server. So let's connect to my Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi and let's connect to another server. Let's go here. Perfect. Let's make another window. Okay, so now the first three windows are connected to remote service. We're connected to Bitnami, Raspberry Pi and Topology. And this one, the planet uh, machine, is the local machine. So with screen groups, you can make it easier to manage all these different windows. You can actually put them inside of nested groups. So to create a group, use the screen dash T to give it a title. We're going to call it remote. And you can use slash slash group. This is a relatively new feature. So if your screen version isn't uh, probably 4.0 or higher, you might not have this functionality. So Go ahead and type screen dash t remote slash slash group. This will make a new group. You'll see the window looks a little bit different, right? So you have the group name at the top with no windows inside. If you press control A quotation, you can see that the flags for this number four or window number four doesn't include shell. Okay, so we'll go back inside. And if you want to create a window inside of here, you can just use control AC like normal. If you look at the status bar, it only shows the windows from the group that you're viewing right now. So in this group, I have one window, window number five. So let's go ahead and move the remote windows into this group, since this is the remote group. So we can press Control A1, which will bring us to the Raspberry Pi window. And you can use the Control A colon to open up the command line group, and then the group name remote. And now this window is moved into the remote group. So that's super useful to put them all together. So we'll go ahead and do that for the rest of our groups as well. Control A colon, group, remote, and then Control A three. 
Right, control A zero. Root remote. Okay. So if we look at our list of windows at the bottom, we'll find that we're inside the remote group. Okay. And if we go to the window list by pressing backspace, you'll see that all the windows are now in a remote group. So this can be super helpful to separate what you're working on locally from what you're working on remotely. And you can also change the name of the windows if that helps as well. So I could rename this window Control A Capital A to Local. And there you go. So I could create two groups here if I wanted to, with all the local windows in one group and all the remote sessions in a different group. So this makes it a lot easier to move quickly through screen and get things done. That's all I want to talk about today. I hope it was super helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video. And again, I'm Jeff Slater. Thank you.